All right, let's move on. Mm, I'll start, I'm gonna jump over to here. Pay attention. King John II in 1492 expelled all the Jews to the island of St. Thomas. That's Africa. St. Thomas is Africa. Island of St. Thomas is on the west coast of Africa, which had been discovered in 1471 and to other Portuguese settlements on the continent of Africa. So the Jews, which were black, was kicked out of Spain and Portugal and sent to Africa. And from these banished Jews, the black Portuguese, as they are called, and the Jews in Luango, that's Africa, who are despised even by the very Negroes are descended. So they were, we're all descended of one black race, okay? But one group of us were called the Jews and we kept the commandments and the rest of us did not keep the commandments, okay? So now, let's go back here. Uh, before Africa was theirs, she belonged to the black man. It was not until the 15th century, that's the 1400s, when European powers entered Africa, first for gold, then for slaves, that the face of Africa changed. Let's take a look. This was how Africa looked in the 1400s. Then later on, the face of Africa changed to this. The changing face of Africa, the Africa before the slave trade and Europe's colonial invasion looked quite different than the Africa of today. Let's look at that again. This is how it used to look. This is what it looks like today. Okay. This map of Africa circa 1450 shows some of the indigenous groups and original nation state boundaries. The Africa of the 20th century reflects the European, reflects European boundaries drawn in the 1800s during Europe's partition of and scramble for Africa. You can Google scramble for Africa. They'll show you all the European nations that were in attendance and who wanted what, how Africa was divided up amongst Edomites. They all took apart. Mm. Price of a man. These were the Arabs in Mecca. of the Middle Passage. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, about your sons and daughters, about the uh, our people going into slavery on ships. We shall go into Egypt again with ships. Deuteronomy 28, 64, it is a slave ship. Let's open it up. You see the bodies of men and women on this ship. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. All right. 